Hi everyone! Welcome to the workshop Sound and Vision Enhancing Distance Learning with Audio and Video. My name is Bethany Bovard and I'll be your facilitator for this workshop. My interest in audio and video for teaching and learning began when I was in my PhD program. The program was primarily discussion based and, while I do love reading and writing, I felt that something was missing. At the same time, I was also teaching online and was a bit overwhelmed by the amount of time it took to provide feedback to students. So I began exploring audio and video for instructional purposes and as a way to reduce workload. In the past six years, I've incorporated many different elements of audio and video in my online courses. In this workshop, I hope to share some of what I've learned so that you can enhance your courses with audio and video and so that you can reduce your workload a bit in the process. If you need to contact me for any reason during this workshop, my contact info is listed in the help forum, my profile, and in my introductions forum discussion post. I'd like to begin this presentation with a quick intro to some of the key concepts we'll be exploring in the workshop. As a way of introducing the potential for audio and video, we'll look at how these media can help us address the five pillars of quality in online education. This is meant to be just a quick overview to give you something to consider as we begin our audio video journey. Next, we'll look at key strategies, ideas, and considerations for creating educationally effective audio and video content for your courses. It is important you learn some of these basic ideas so that your use of audio and video supports student learning while also making your job easier. Once you've learned a few basic strategies, it will be time to explore the tools of this workshop and create some content that employs the concepts you've learned. Speaking of the tools, there are many different ways to create audio or video and we couldn't possibly cover them all in 10 days. For our audio recording options, we'll look at WavePad and Vocaroo. WavePad is a free yet very powerful program you can download to your computer. It lets you record, edit, and export audio as MP3 files. Vocaroo.com is a free online service that makes recording and sharing audio easier than you can imagine. For video recording options, we'll look at Screencast-O-Matic, YouTube, and VoiceThread. Screencast-O-Matic can record what is happening on your desktop, making it the perfect tool for presentations, content support, grading, tech support, and more. YouTube, with its features of recording from your webcam and sharing video with anyone, is an excellent tool for lecture content, personal video messages, and lots of other great things. Finally, VoiceThread, an online multimedia presentation tool, is excellent for combining multiple content formats into one presentation. And, because it has comment tools, you can easily narrate the presentation and your students can have discussions about the content. So, we have five great tools to explore and use to create effective audio and video content. I think you'll find just the right audio and video tool to help meet your needs. The three primary learning objectives for this workshop include being able to test five audio and video tools, discuss educationally effective audio and video strategies, and apply those strategies when creating some audio content and some video content. Whether you're doing this workshop for a certificate of completion or not, you can always evaluate your own learning by these objectives. You'll have several opportunities to practice with the concepts and skills during the workshop, and if you take advantage of those opportunities, you should be prepared to create some great audio and video content for your courses. As you can see from the table, the primary workshop content and activities are segmented into three areas related to each of the three learning objectives. Each area has readings and tutorials plus opportunities for practice. These activities are structured to give you a good overview of the concepts and skills necessary for effective use of audio and video in your courses. I recommend you practice with the tools, begin with learning just the basics of how to create something without worrying about content. Then, after you've developed some skills with the basic features of a tool, Try creating some content for your course and using that opportunity to apply some of the strategies mentioned in the core readings. 
These initial explorations and attempts can be shared in the practice forums where you can get assistance and support from the facilitator and other faculty and students in the workshop. If you do the same steps, first develop the technical skill with the tool, then focus on creating effective content with the tool, you will not only have developed some good technical skills, you will have applied the strategies for educationally effective audio and video several times and really learn the content well. This workshop has two options. The non-graded option is for those who don't want or need to receive a certificate of completion. With this option, you can participate as much or as little as your professional needs and personal desires dictate. The graded option, which leads to a certificate of completion, has specific learning objectives and supporting graded activities that must be completed satisfactorily. You do not have to notify us which option you choose. If you complete the graded activity satisfactorily, you will be able to download your certificate. Please note, you can't decide to take the workshop for a certificate after the workshop is over. Thank you for your time and attention during this presentation. I'm looking forward to interacting with you in this workshop, and I wish you joy and success in all your learning endeavors.